so how did you know I was the one? How did I know she was the one? Okay, uh, for me, personally, um, you know, getting to getting to know Busi, you know, the next few months after we had met, really solidified her character to me and what drew me to her quite a bit, well, quite a lot actually was uh, her giving spirit she she's a very giving she's a very giving person very loving very loving also um she's self sacrificial and she will do anything for the people she loves and for me it was the small things that she did you know um, i had never had anyone bring me food at work you know, i usually work very long hours and i remember this one time she came in and she was looking gorgeous you know she came to see me and uh, she actually came to drop off nando's i did not even know nando's comes with like a vans you know until she did i was like really and and you know when i saw that side of her how caring she was and how confident she is as as a person you know um, the demeanor that she she talks in how she approaches things you know for me that that's when i knew uh, this is someone i could build a future with you know um, i didn't have much myself at the time so um, you know i wanted it to be the person i built with okay. so that's when i knew that's when you knew okay how did i know you were the one I don't know, there was no specific moment where I knew, but I just knew. <laughs> like, I just knew, I just knew. I always knew, like, the next guy I meet, it has to be long term. And for me, like, you, yeah, you also take the qualities of what I was looking for very kind, very gentle, very, you know. You're also very giving. I like that. And you love people. So for me, that was just like, okay. It was ticking the boxes. But there was no specific moment where I knew it was the one. I just knew from the moment I met him. I remember even telling my friend and even my mom, like, there's this guy I met. I don't know. I just knew. I just knew. Even my cousin knew before. You know? I didn't know it was going to be him, but I knew the next guy I meet gonna be the one and it's very it's for me it's very prophetic can i say that is that too deep um prophetic prophetic because I, I i said it even before i met you you know yeah i was I told this much yeah that would prophetic be i can say it was prophetic yeah. for me because i had already known where i'm at and what i was what i wanted and yeah it just happened <laughs> Um, Love is out there, guys. What do we argue about the most? <laughs> uh, um, I we, think we, we don't really do we argue. Is it arguments? Is it the, is it what do we argue about? Was like the little things or like the serious things? Nah, I don't is think. it little things? I think it's more the little things, you know. We hardly ever have just to depends things. what how you look at things. Yeah. You know? I know the one thing we never really agree on is my, you know, expenditure on 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 yeah on and certain things luxury yeah. items. Yeah. You know? I'm a I, very frugal. Save, save, save. I, I don't need to, that. I tend to go and overboard. Yeah. So and yeah, that's the one of the things we argue about the most. That's the one thing and, <laughs> that gets me sleeping on the couch quite a bit. And if you like a wife, you know, for me, it will always be like, close the door. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tennessee's so. <laughs> covers. Like, do you like leaving everything open? Uh, typical males. Yeah. Things. So, I don't know. I don't know. I think if that's the question, what we work, it's really like the little normal things. It's just not even really about arguing. It's about. But we don't really argue a lot. Don't. Yeah. No, we don't. Yeah. When we have disagreements, it's usually like a very serious thing. But the most, yeah, it would probably be that would be the one. I need to go to Santon and be like, 
here we go again yeah that's the one thing yeah yeah and i like going out quite a bit with, with my friends, friends so yeah we don't, we don't always agree on yeah. how, how long i should be out <laughs> so yeah the times yeah, <laughs> yeah but the... it's like locked out <laughs> What do I hope for for the future for my marriage specifically? What do you hope for, baby? I hope for a happy marriage. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it's a happy marriage. That's really what I hope for. Health, happy, healthy, um, wealthy, wealthy, <laughs> happy, healthy, wealthy. <laughs> More kids. More kids, just grow. Cause I always feel like marriage is we are growing mm -hmm. as people, but we're doing it together. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was listening to a podcast at the time. It's like that's the difficult part. It's like you need to grow as an individual. I need to grow as an individual, but we have to do it together. Yeah, come together and uh, yeah. merge. Exactly. So I just yeah grow together in marriage that's really all i hope for for the future you know yeah mm, successful marriage that's long lasting that's i think that's really what people wish for yeah. in marriage a long lasting marriage yeah yeah that's what i hope for for the future okay hey guys hello hi yeah. my name is mozamai maleka <laughs> and i'm busi maleka and we have been married for three years. Three years. How do I know that? Same age as my our daughter's um, our daughter's age. So that's uh, kind of my telltale sign, you know. When it's whenever it's her birthday, I know ah another one. <laughs> <laughs> so how did we meet? Well. There's two versions of the story. My version and his version. The real one. No. <laughs> you wanna start with your version? Because yours is way before we way actually before. met. Way, way before. Um, so I think it was the thirty first of the first. Oh the first. Of January. Of January twenty fifteen. We were well, I was in Clarence with a group of friends. Uh, we had thought it would be a fun idea. I still don't know if it was legal though, to actually go to the um, center area in Clarence, the green part and- Yeah, the park, like the park. The park, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's called the park, but anyway, we were brying there you know, uh, we were the only ones. Obviously, this looked very weird, <laughs> you know, but I mean, you know, we were, we were a few guys from Cassie and we thought, hey, why not? It's, it's, it's the New Year's. Um, during the braai, the glimpse of my eye, you know, the corner of my eye, I see a yellow bone. Not too far from us, you know. She was with uh, two two other ladies, uh, which, which now friends, yeah. happens to be one of her cousins, and the one was was her best friend actually. Uh, so you know, I'm a gassy boy. I'm like, let me try my shot. Who knows? <laughs> Walk up to these ladies. Ah, wa baba, wa baba. And I'm, we were like, these guys are so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying. I was uh, sorry. I was oh, it's like you guys are weird. So no. <laughs> who brides in the middle? Like Clarence, Clarence. Who brides Clarence? Ah uh, shit. So you are there. We were just like nope. I was like, and they came to us. They tried to talk to us. And we were just like, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. Like, can I get the numbers? Like, yeah, probably you need the fire station with the bride going on. So. <laughs> That didn't turn out too <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, we were like, no, sorry. Mm -hmm. But for me, I I saw her, and I mean, I was like, yo, that's that's that looks like a woman and a half, you know. Um, oh. 
<laughs> but but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> no, it didn't happen. Like we didn't give them our number. We didn't even you even talk to you guys for long. We just like Yeah. What? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> it's a little thing. <laughs> but fast forward, um so it's twenty fifteen. Fast forward to twenty seventeen. Mm. So um I think this is how we met, like officially met. Right, that's the year we met. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, it was twenty seventeen. I think it was February, early February. Yes. And we had um gone to the hospital. My cousin was admitted there, and then I'm there with my family. You worried about my cousin, and then there's this guy who's just staring at me, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> But initially, that's really like that's how we first met. We met at the hospital in twenty seventeen. That's where I first saw you. And yeah, we we didn't really talk. It was just all about my cousin who was ill, and you were the doctor helping her. And then after that, here we are. A month later, I think we bumped bumped into each other, and then at the nail salon. Yeah, and then that's when we're like, okay, can I have your numbers? <laughs> so that was your third try, technically. Third time, guys. Third time. Third time. Charm. So <laughs> don't give up on love. Eh? First time, maybe you meet them at the Shebin and <laughs> so just keep trying. Just keep trying. You you will you'll meet them. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> as you share. <laughs> Christian Grey whips and can I, what's the room? Whips and creams. No, the room. His room. Like a toy room or something. Room and we have that. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. I, I forgot the name of the room. It was a red room. The red room. I think this was the red room. Probably with, with all the equipment. <laughs> I feel like it was more like a whip room. It was a red room. Red room. Whip room. Red room. Whip room. No. <laughs> so how do we keep our sex life exciting? Communication. You'll be surprised how much you can satisfy your partner by just asking what it is that gets you ready. What what uh, what you find enjoyable. What. Um, what more would you like me to do? Um, you know, do, do I introduce toys? Do I, you know, touch me here, touch me there, more of that? So knowing what your partner likes. Yeah. Yeah, and keeping it spicy. Like, I think we always need to, like, for me, I always need to, like, we always need to remember we're young, you know? Yes. Sometimes you get in marriage and, you know, it's like, oh, it's so serious. But it's like, no. Oh, doing Have it fun. at night, <laughs> only at night. <laughs> Like oh, it's, it's not that serious. We are. The couch is like, there. I'll be 14 and I'll still be saying, We are. <laughs> the couch is there. To the car is fun. there. <laughs> but like, just remembering to remember to be young. Like, I know the uh, people when they hear marriage. Eh. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, so for me, it's <laughs> we always need to <laughs> <laughs> just remember to be young. Yeah, yeah. Keep it young. And that's what keeps it fresh and, and youthful. Yes. And... Oof. Not that serious. <laughs> um, what is the most romantic thing you've ever done? Oof. Now it gets interesting. What is the most romantic thing I have ever done? So obviously we don't, uh, we both don't agree. I, 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 I seem to think uh, the most romantic thing I did was uh, of my proposal to her, um, twenty seventeen, um, when Cape Town for um, her birthday. It was her birthday, man. Mm -mm. We're in Cape Town. We just went. <laughs> we just went. It was February. Oh yes, 
went to <laughs> Cape Town. <laughs> that was horrible trip. It wasn't horrible. Not all of it was horrible. Not horrible. No, no. The no. parts of it were horrible, but I was, I was in my first trimester. Yeah. I was very moody. <laughs> I I was not I was not having it. I was just it was not nice for me. I was bloated. I was just like yeah. tired all the time. I was just like, why are we here? It's hot. Like yeah, no, that true. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you proposed. But I don't think for me that was the most romantic thing because technically that would be expected. That would be the most romantic thing. But for me. For me, it's like the little things. It's always the little things for me. Mm -hmm. Like, thoughtfulness. I feel like for me, thoughtfulness is very really romantic. When someone can just feel like, okay, you were tired, I'll cook today. You know, you want to just, I don't know, if you're a mother, you know, sometimes you just get exhausted. And I know mm -hmm. that's not the real definition of romantic. You know, when we think of romantic, it's like, but it's one of the love languages, you know. Yeah, that's acts, my love language. Acts of service. Yeah, that's yeah. my love language. So for me, I that's for me like that's yeah. the one that gets you the point. Like, yo, if I'm tired, you can just be like, I'll take the daughter out for the whole day. You rest. For me, mm -hmm. those are the most romantic things. Those are the things that for me, like, wow. Yeah. Okay, so I uh, should be making dinner after this, guys. Yes, I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very angry. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, what's the one thing no one ever told us about marriage? One thing, um, I there's no one thing. There's no in, like in, everything. In they didn't tell us everything. 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 They didn't tell us anything. It hits you, uh, and. And there's no preparing for marriage. There's nothing anybody can tell you about marriage. Yeah, anything. there's no manual, you know. Ah, she's angry. Page five. <laughs> ah, I didn't take out the trash. Ah, you know, she wants to watch the Kardashians. And, you know, I want to play video games. <laughs> so, yeah, I wouldn't say there's one, one thing. No, that there's no one thing. You know, I would say if I had to choose one thing, one thing, oh, okay. Patience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Patience. I would say marriage is and needs. So that's the one thing patience. nobody told. That's the one thing nobody told me. Yeah. The one thing nobody told me. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like nobody told me anything. <laughs> I think for me, it was just like, there was no preparation for marriage. There was no, this is a big deal. You need to marriage. You mm -hmm. must do this. And there was, there was really nothing nobody ever told me. And mind you, we went for premarital counseling. Yeah. And, you know, I don't think you even hear half no. of what people said there. Yeah. You just think, when am I wearing the tux? <laughs> yeah. When am I signing? And, yeah. You know, I think the one thing also is is perhaps forgiveness. Yeah. Forgiveness and patience, love, are the most reoccurring themes in marriage. Um, you know, no one prepared you to forgive as much be patient as much and you know to you know be resilient as well you know in marriage you you, you learn those things if you want to learn them in marriage and I think that's what makes uh, a marriage works but I mean I think that it's different for everyone you know um, it all depends how you started and what your goals are and and, and for us, you know, um, those are some of the things that have, that I think have, have carried us to this point, yeah. Okay. Secret to a happy marriage? Oh, I think this one... Um, it's forgiveness. It's repeating itself. Yeah, like, it's I think, forgiveness. like I said, the theme is forgiveness. For me, uh, the theme is forgiveness. Patience and love. Yeah. 
if you don't love the person you're with or if you're not going to work at making it work marriage is work you need to put in the work you can't have the one party doing all the work and you expect yeah. things to happen yeah. ah why don't you talk to me yeah. ah things must be done to me mm -hmm. ah no why don't you check on me you know so you you always it's always about you know taking one for the team at some point just you want it to work you know mm -hmm. so if you want it to work there are things sometimes where you have to say this is for my marriage and i'm going to do it yeah. so sacrifice forgiveness mm -hmm. and love yeah that is the secret awesome. communication healthy so communication has different parts healthy communication safe space mm -hmm. allowing each other to voice out things without making assumptions you know if i say i am out it should never be oh but who is he out with what are they doing when are they coming back that's where um the devil sort of creeps in you know to break the trust to break you know i mean that that's how you know the evil spirits come into marriage you know the one person is saying one thing and you want to hear what you want to hear and so that that is a very toxic trait to to have in marriage what your partner says to you is what your partner is saying to you and so in trust, a safe space so that's trust trust yeah trust as well mm -hmm. so far marriage is fun 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 <laughs> very fun fun Fun. Fun. I, I think you're saying fun too. <laughs> oh, it's my turn to say. So far, marriage is. You. So far, marriage is. There's a word I'm looking for. Ah, oh, damn, it's so fast, Abali. <laughs> There's a word I'm looking for, man. Let the beef. <laughs> oh no, what is the word? So far, marriage is. I don't want to say fun, but I want to say. Ex. It's 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 a roller coaster ride. Yes, it's a roller coaster ride. So a far, marriage is a roller. Yes, ups and downs. Ups and downs. The good, the bad, the fun, the crazy. You know most how roller coaster yeah, is. Yeah. It's a roller coaster ride. It's fun. It's nice. There is times where it gets scary, you know? Mm -hmm. But you get back up and then it's fun again. Yeah, that is true. Nah. That is true. So far marriage is a roller coaster ride. All those emotions in one. Yeah. So why should young people know about young love? Mm -hmm. I think the older you get, the more corrupt love becomes. If you could learn it from a young version of yourself, then you grew up with the good kind of ingredients for a long lasting marriage yeah i think for me it would be i think it's important for young people to learn about young healthy love mm. Mm. it should be healthy it should be inspiring mm. you know it is important um, for young people to not like I said marriage has a bad reputation nowadays everybody's told married people are unhappy and but there is healthy young married people out there there is 
you know and the more young people grow up with this mentality of oh no marriage is bad i don't want you know what i mean you rob yourself of finding love finding someone to build with you know those yeah. are good things that's that's not a bad thing yeah. isn't that what god aspires for us to, why are we as human beings on this earth yeah. ultimately you know ultimately you know it is good to still love yourself grow individually but at the same time there's nothing wrong with doing that with someone else but in a healthy way mm. so for me i advocate for young people to see young healthy love to see a young couple um doing well in marriage achieving their goals together you know for, so for me that's that young healthy love you know mm. i think everybody should should go for it I remember telling my wife this analogy that I always make every time we walk into a, uh, a furniture shop, for example, you know, shopping, looking for a bed, you nine, eight out of 10 times, if you are a single guy walking into a furniture shop, oh, you are less likely to, to, be, helped. to be helped <laughs> because you as a unit alone is like, ah. <laughs> you know uh, but if every time i walk in with my wife even that old lady at the back stands up it's like <laughs> how can i help because what am i saying you when say if you're married you can buy a bed <laughs> when you yes when you're married you can buy a bed and a good one when you marry young or when you are inspired by young love it is equivalent to finding your helper in life quite soon mm. and i That's promise true. you yeah. this makes sense when it gets to your financial growth i mean if you're young two professionals mm. you are going to acquire much more assets quicker mm. you will be able to pay off your home quicker you'll be able to enjoy your kids longer and you'll be able to have fun much more longer i don't understand how these are bad things in in marriage don't you want to make more money live longer enjoy your kids you know i don't want to do that when so i'm 40. Like, they have like more practical yeah sense of it. Okay. it just makes more sense get okay. married young start building mm. you know by the time you're 40 you're on your fourth house yeah and doing this live thing with someone for me makes makes it better i don't know how easier it Yo, makes it easier a lot easier just doing this life thing knowing that somebody out there wants that for you you know yeah. and is there and supporting you it's just not you by yourself yeah yeah I, I someone to support your vision exactly yeah to have someone there rooting you on like cheering you on yeah yeah doing life thing with someone Thanks. Ding. <laughs>